Hey guys, John Velasco here with Android Authority. I'm live here at MWC 2017. I'm here at the ZTE booth and I'm checking out two new devices that they announced. We have the ZTE Blade V8 Mini and the uh, Lite. Now these two devices are kind of more entry-level devices. I'll start off first with the Mini here. So with the ZTE Blade Mini, it has a pretty nice design, a metal body and you have this uh, stylish aspect with the uh, top portion of the back. It has an orange color with this particular model but others will have different color. But nice build quality for the most part. You have a fingerprint sensor, pretty easy to hold with one hand. Uh, the rest of the body is comprised out of plastic. Now it is kind of lightweight. Uh, some of the key stuff that stands out with the V8 Mini is on the back. You have dual cameras, so of course you're going to get that dual, you're going to have that bokeh effect, giving you the ability to actually adjust the focus after you take the shot. It comes down to a 13 megapixel camera and 2 megapixel camera. There's also this mode where you could produce 3D photos. So it takes two, it uses both cameras, takes a shot, and then you could view that image in, v, in, a, in, in a Google Cardboard so you could view it in a 3D mode. It's powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 435 chip with 2 gigabytes of RAM. You have a 5-inch 720p display. Of course, the specs don't really make it too attractive, but for an entry-level device, it should suffice. Now, they didn't announce a pricing for this phone or release date, but it is coming to the European and Asian markets. No word yet on the U.S. availability. And this one here is the lighter spec ZT Blade V8 Lite. So the V8 Lite looks very similar to the V8 Mini, but with the exception that you don't have those dual cameras on the back. It looks like it, but it's actually just a single camera there, which is an 8 megapixel camera. Still has a metal body, kind of clean. You have a fingerprint sensor right there, easy to hold. Construction seems decent for the most part, and you could tell it has some of the same design characteristics that we see in ZTE's higher-end devices like the uh, ZTE Axon 7. But as far as the specs, like I said, they're a lot lighter than the, uh, than the uh, Mini. So the light here has a 5-inch 720p display. You have an 8-megapixel rear camera. You have a 5-megapixel front-facing camera. And then it's, it has 2 gigabytes of RAM, um, 16 gigabytes of internal storage. And as far as the processor is concerned, it's packing an octa-core MT6750 processor. So a little bit on the lighter side, hence the lighter, the light name attachment to it. Uh, just like the Mini, there's no wording on pricing or availability, but it is coming to the European and Asian markets. So if you guys want to learn more about either device, you can check out our website, androidauthority.com. This is John V. signing off.